Hello everybody, I'm Night Cirque and welcome to episode 9 of our Minecraft 1.19 Survival Let's Play series. In our last episode, I built our nether room and I got my very first netherite of the series. And today is the day we will be taking on the Ender Dragon. But I do have a couple things I want to do before that, like finish getting my tools and armor netherite, along with checking out a nether fortress that I found in the last episode. And after we take on the Ender Dragon, I do plan on also getting Elytra by the end of this episode. First things first, I do want to enchant our diamond sword. I do have a sharpness 5 and a mending book but i first want to get a level 30 enchantment hopefully with unbreaking a three on it so i will enchant and disenchant until i get a level 30 sword that does have unbreaking three Here's an Unbreaking 3. We just got Unbreaking 3, which honestly isn't the worst thing because we will be adding Sharpness 5 and Mending. And there we go. Our Unbreaking 3 Mending and Sharpness 5 Sword is done. I did get a lot of useful tips on our Netherite Mine. Like I could space the TNT three blocks apart, which that's very useful. And some others said I don't even have to use TNT and I can use beds or I can just mine out with like an efficiency 5 pickaxe. But since I sat AFK for a while and now have a ton of gunpowder, Powder. I will just be going mining for netherite using the gunpowder since I already waited for so long. So let's go get some sand. We'll be down in the mine. And since we did this whole process a lot in our last episode, let's just do this real quick. All right. And after using all of the TNT that we had, I now have 15 ancient debris which will be enough to turn my sword my shovel and my boots all into netherite there we go oh now that we are fully geared up with netherite let's go check out that nether fortress and here's the nether fortress that i found in our last episode okay we have made our way into the nether fortress and the main reason i want to be here is so we can find a blaze spawner so i can make eyes of ender we were climbing up a leg of the fortress. I do hear blazes. I'm hoping it's a spawner. Okay, there's one blaze. It does not look like it's a blaze spawner though. I think I have explored this entire nether fortress and it does not look like there is a blaze spawner. There is a pathway that goes down here. I'm hoping it connects to another part of the nether fortress and it looks like it does. But oh, let's go. Okay, we do have a blaze spawner, which is perfect. I will be covering it up just so the gas does not blow it up. 15 blaze rods will definitely be enough for us. Now the only thing I want to do before I leave the nether is look for a blue forest. I don't know the actual name of it, but the reason for that is because endermen spawn there a lot and we will need some ender pearls. Since I've had no luck finding one of those forests so far, I will be heading back and just trying to find Endermen and fight them. I was going to look out for Endermen to fight, but I did happen to remember that clerics can actually trade Ender Pearls. On episode six, I believe there are multiple comments telling me about getting a cleric for Ender Pearls, and luckily I remembered that, so we are going to try and level up our cleric to get some Ender Pearls. I do have quite a lot of emeralds, so we will be trading for redstone to level up our cleric because I actually do not have a lot of rotten flesh. We also will be getting lapis, I guess. And some glowstone, it looks like. Okay. There we go. Ender pearls. Five emeralds for an ender pearl, which is very nice to see. There are 12 ender pearls right there. While that is recharging, what I'm actually going to do is go and collect a bunch of carrots just to trade for even more emeralds because these villagers have been hard at work. And as you can see, we have quite a lot of carrots in both of our chests. Thank you to everyone who said I can get ender pearls from the cleric. And now I will start trading all all of the carrots that we have for emeralds. I do believe I have five farmer villagers. So spending all of those emeralds is not a big deal for us at all. And this villager is kind of trapped in an awkward spot. I accidentally freed him from here and he ran over here. So I trapped him here, but he does trade these carrots for our emeralds. And now that we're out of carrots, we can just go back and collect even more carrots. 24 eyes of ender, which I hope is enough. I also do have these six extra ender pearls and we will be getting to this ender dragon fight very soon we now have unbreaking three power to infinity and flame on a bow i think i have everything that i will need for this ender dragon fight okay let's go on the hunt for the what's it called let's go on the hunt for the end 
What a cool area we have here. Oh my gosh, this is such a cool area. Making our way into a dark oak forest. Yet again, another really, really cool area. This might be the biggest dark oak forest I've ever seen. And we haven't even seen the full forest. And there's this really cool lake in the center. While we're looking for the end, I want to say thank you all so, so much for five thousand subscribers we are halfway to ten thousand which is just crazy to think about and i am seriously thankful for all of your amazing support oh my gosh this dark oak forest just continues to go on a potion of instant health that is nice okay looks like we passed where the end is at Okay, it looks like we are directly above where the end is at. Okay, here we are. All I need to do now is find where the portal is at and hopefully find the library just to get a ton of books. Here we go. I don't think I've actually ever seen the portal room have a second entrance. Here is the library. Now that I've blocked off every single path except for the path to the portal and to the library, I will get my loot organized in a chest along with setting my spawn oh gosh okay now i do have 25 golden carrots along with nine golden apples and a potion of instant health plus some building blocks and a bucket of water but i do think i am ready to begin this ender dragon fight here we go the end okay here we go hopefully the dragon does not fight me while i'm just trying to bridge over and i will say this is the first time i'm ever fighting the ender dragon on java i fought the ender dragon on bedrock a lot but never once have i fought the ender dragon on java so we shall see how this goes and gosh darn it i was supposed to bring a pumpkin if you did watch the 100 days in bedrock video um i made this a lot harder for myself by accidentally looking at the enderman so i definitely hope that doesn't happen here I most likely will not be fighting the ender dragon until I knock down all of these little tower thingies that heal him. Did I hit that? I think I did. Oh! Oh my gosh! Oh, I think I hit that. I did not know the ender would go after him like this. This is so cool. Yeah, hey, what the heck? Oh my gosh! Oh! oh! There's no way! Oh my gosh! What the heck? I've no- Oh my gosh! Oh my gosh, my heart is racing right now. Oh my gosh. <sighs> Come on! Come on, where'd he go? Ow! Oh, I'm in his fire! Oh my gosh! Oh! Come on, come on! No, no, no. I can do this. I can do this. I can do this. Oh my gosh. I'm going to hit the dragon one time with my sword and I kind of want to take him out with my arrows. Okay. I think he has like just one health left. This is good. This is good. All right. I'm waiting for him to fly up. I want to get him with the bow. I want to get the nice shot. Come on. Ow. What the heck? I didn't even look at you. Ow. What? I didn't even mean to gosh darn it. I wanted to get him with the bow. Oh no. I need to get, let me, let me get the screenshot. Oh gosh, okay, uh, screenshot, screenshot, I can't hear anything, okay, I hope I got some good screenshots, I, 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 ow, ow, stop, beated the ender dragon, yes, oh yeah, give me all of this experience, yes, oh my gosh, that fight was so intense yet so fun, let's collect the dragon egg, there we go, and then we actually are not going to be leaving the end just yet. We are going to go into here, and we will be looking for an end city so we can get ourselves an Elytra. That honestly was probably the funnest Ender Dragon fight I have ever had. I've died multiple times facing the Ender Dragon, never fought the Ender Dragon in Java. Oh my gosh! Oh. Okay, um, oh my gosh. And here we go. Oh, yeah. I will try to mark my way with these torches just so I can kind of find my way back after I find an end city and get the elytra. Also, while I'm at the end city, I will need to fight some shulkers to get some shulker chests, shulker boxes. No, no. 
Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Okay, I gotta I gotta take this a lot more seriously. I just I threw the ender pearl, caught myself, and then luckily I had it. I am so lucky I had one last ender pearl, or that would have been it. I would have lost all of my netherite gear, and uh yeah, gosh darn it. Okay. I need to get I need to get some more ender pearls, and hopefully soon we come across an end city. Finally an end city. Oh my gosh. I have been out here for I do not know how long But it is very nice to come across an end city and I see that there is a way to leave Which I did not actually know those spawn at end cities because I've been kind of lighting my way up every couple hundred or so blocks but we have finally found our end city and i do not see a boat oh gosh please do not tell me i got that unlucky please there is no boat but we will still explore it only because we can get some pretty dang good loot and then after that we will go look for another end city but look for one that does have a boat actually yeah if you want to hit me that'd be nice thank you okay and there's six diamonds efficiency oh this is a nice pickaxe curse of binding honestly a good pair of boots i'll take it i've now went through this whole end city and it is time for us to go look for another end city so we can get ourselves some elytra i've been traveling through the end for quite a while and i just came across another one of those portals and this one does not have an end city around it i don't know if maybe every thousand blocks or every couple thousand blocks like one of these spawns so i guess i will just continue on traveling because i am not leaving the end until i get an elytra there's our little spawn portal right over there and then just right over here we have an end city and not again there is no way if i find two end cities and neither of them have a ship uh here is the end city and yet again there is no ship which i don't know what the chances of finding two end cities and neither of them having a ship but this is just so incredibly unlucky i'm not even going to explore it i'm just going to carry on looking for another end city And there goes all of our loot. I had my mic muted because in the background I like watching YouTube while I'm recording and I don't need my audio. So basically it just went like, no, no, and um, yeah. In our chest, we still have our netherite axe and our netherite shovel. We also have a diamond, yay. I also have one netherite ingot back at the house, but there goes all of our netherite gear. I'm going to make my way back to our base. The it's hard to tell how far you can throw with the ender pearl because of how the trajectory is. It, 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 it. That's the second time I took a fall like that where I just under threw with the ender pearl, landed on the wall. And the first time I luckily caught myself, but I just, oh my gosh. And like the reason that happened, I mean, obviously it's because I messed up and I under threw it. But if I would have just found a boat in one of the first two end cities, Oh my gosh. I didn't I, if 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 I would have died there, I would spawn all the way back right by where the portal is at. There are so many just awful things about dying there. For one, I lost everything and I can't get it back because it fell in the void. Of course, just at the beginning of this episode, I finished getting my netherite gear and then that happened. So just the lineup of that is just awful. My boots were incredibly good. My helmet was super good. And then my chest plate and leggings both had protection for and mending. I also lost my sword and my pickaxe. Plus the dragon egg, all of those levels, all of that loot, just, just everything just lined up horribly for me. 
And on top of all of that, I found two end cities and neither of them had a boat. So of course I keep looking and then eventually, you know, I just, uh, if either of those first two end cities had a boat, I would not have died there. Hey, hey, I, I, got, I, I can't take all of the blame for this. I'm trying to stay happy right now, but that just, I guess it's time for us to get a little bit of a restart, I guess. I mean, and by restart, I do not mean anything about our base. I just mean our armor and tools. And we might have to fight the ender dragon again and we still eventually will have to go back to the end again to get an elytra so just everything is just so uh. i have 14 diamonds i do have one extra netherite ingot i still do have a good diamond pickaxe but it's silk touch and not fortune now i did find a really good diamond pickaxe but i do not know if i put that in the ender chest or not i really hope i did but yeah it's time for us to start fresh on our armor and tools in our next episode I will create an ender chest and see exactly what I saved. I hope I saved those diamond boots that we found and that diamond pickaxe that we found. That's going to be it for this video. I, I hope that was entertaining. I had a ton of fun in the fight, but just afterwards, it's just, uh. I hope you all enjoyed this video. If you did, please consider leaving a like and subscribing. See, 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 uh, guys. Bye. <laughs> Gosh darn it. <laughs>